Hello everyone, this is Ephraim here. Welcome back to my Yugo Pro. I'm a bit late on getting this out. Bit of an odd time. I've been... I got preoccupied. I was reading Tokyo Gory. Been getting back into that, and... That's how I've spent most of my day. I'm testing out Storm, Storming Mirror Force. I don't know if I like it yet. It's fantastic against some kinds of decks, but against others it just kind of flops. Chicken Race. Draw a card. Is he playing a legitimate deck? Is it Chicken Race Engine, or is he just one of these FTK guys? Let's see if he searches an actual field spell. No, chicken race. Of course. I can't find people playing the Tinamut decks. Oh, this, uh, I might have spoken too soon. There's a star sir off. Solve it in. I may have spoken too soon. Just to intro here. Yeah. I couldn't risk it making infinity terraforming for an actual field spell. No, no just I don't like running chicken race as my only field spell. Just because your opponent can plus off of it. Is he gonna search off this, or does he not? Or are these his only targets? Either way, I'm about to get infinitied. It's the only reason you dedicate this much. Ouroboros? I guess. I would have rather made Dotoros here. Though I guess if he's not playing as side, there's really no point. Okay. Set one. If I can resolve a Storming Mirror Force, I might just win against this deck. Gradle Eagle. Activate Chicken Race to draw. And it was essentially free due to the Upstart Goblin. So. Yeah. Easy. All is too easy. Chicken race plus soul charge. Down 5,000 turn 1. That's my storming Mirror Force, it's fine. Summon a monk. Is he gonna make Utopia Lightning on me? Lightning would kind of hurt a lot. Damn a juggler. Really wish he hadn't hit my storming gear force. He's gonna upstart, give me another thousand life points. Utopia Lightning's his only option here. I'm sure he's running it. Digusto Emerald? I don't really agree with that, but okay. One, two. Yeah, show her back your Star Seraphs. Switch off the damage juggler. He might still be able to make lightning if he has another four he can summon in hand. The hat tricker. He's getting low with that chicken race. Is he gonna use another?
That's dangerously low. I don't think I'd ever put myself at a thousand with chicken game. Especially if you're not even gonna... Okay, I'm gonna space that. Let's go Zorboros. We'll see what he does. Nothing. I need a monster here. Well, that's not monster enough. I can only use the same stirred effect, which is its worst. Since I can't end it this turn, I'm going to draw off his chicken race. Bottomless is nice. Swing and kill the Digusto Emerald. What do I want to banish? There's not really. I mean, I guess I'll banish the Sovereign. Set and set. I should be fine. Exiton's banned. I can pop chicken race during my turn. There's Scepter. He'd have to summon again. He's holding Hat Trigger though. So I'm going to bottomless the Scepter. He's holding one. <sighs> He's holding the other Sovereign. Summon the hat tricker. Now, he really needs to make the infinity. If he doesn't have it, I'm not gonna be mad. What the? <sighs> Why is that dog barking? I'm not the only one home right now. I mean, props to him if he's not running infinity. <laughs> because, God. He opts to make Deltaros, which will get bounced by Storming Mirror Force, giving me game. Or well, maybe, I still have to get a monster. One set. Powerful Rebirth, not good enough. But I lose nothing from just drawing. Like this. I'll play the surface. Probably should have played the surface first. Alright, we're good. No turn, so. Is it a call of the haunted? He's gonna MST my face down. Does he have. What does he have? The way Powerful Re This doesn't work out Call of the Haunted, so this stays. That's why I run Powerful Rebirth in this deck to play around MSTs. It's a really interesting card. I like it a bit. Now I can make an Ayu card. Probably. Hopefully. Man, what a chicken game engine. That Soul Charge really hurt him. I don't think Soul Charge in a chicken game deck is a very good idea, but, well. And he's running Pseudo Space? Wow. His best bet here is Utopia Lightning. All his uh, sovereigns are gone. Yeah. But I can. I can win with Nightmare Shark through Utopia Lightning. So that's a non-issue. This only gets its effect if it uses three materials. Um, Abyss Dweller? But again, I can just play around it. That is not the play to make. That is not going to do anything. Spin my eagle? Yeah. Yeah. Then what? 
Okay. Sure. I don't... Was that supposed to not be a Gradle? I'm not entirely sure there. I mean, you're playing a rank 4 deck, surely you're playing Utopia Lightning. Um... Oh, I have you in the grave. I'm going to make Alucard to pop that face down. Whatever it may be. Oh, it was a call of the haunted. Is that problematic? That's problematic. That is definitely problematic. Because he can revive Ordovorus, which is bigger than my monsters. Why are you reviving Star Scepter? Alright. Unless he isn't honest. No. He could revive or Ouroboros and held me on lockdown for another turn. Oh well. That was weird. I don't agree with his... I don't agree with the engine with Soul Charge at all, but... Do we still own? You know, always thank you all for watching as always, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care everyone, and bye bye